text-to-voice synthesis provided by Vidnami. Download for your records. January 15, 2021 by Anna Von writes. In detailing and dealing with the worldwide fraud, it is necessary to track its trail all the way back to Babylon and forward to the present day, however, there is one particular juncture in the long road that bears special scrutiny. Where did, Mystery Babylon, enter the modern world? Remember that Mystery Babylon was successively, violently overthrown and its followers were suppressed and hunted from ancient times until now. Remember that Mystery Babylon survived by going to sea, and that it has remained a religion, popular with sailors and associated with seaports. It should not be any great leap of logic to grasp why, given the foregoing, that the Mystery Babylon cult would settle itself in Britain, the acknowledged world naval power for centuries. Here, for your edification, is where it came to debate in 1609, and attempts to control it prior to the Great Fire of London, firmly placed in the parliamentary records. See also the references to the formation of the Mystery Company discussed by the Government of Westminster, the Crown. Here is the record of the start of the shadow government in Britain. Another 200 years and much bloodshed would attend its ascendancy and its establishment of the franchise system used to impersonate living people and unlawfully convert their proper names, that is, lawful persons, into legal persons so as to bring them into the jurisdiction of the sea and to subject them and their assets to Westminster. The repeated violent suppression of this religion, and those practicing it has led to their adoption of the phoenix as their emblem, and wherever you see a phoenix depicted on any flag, any book, or emblem, you will know that you are dealing with them. The phoenix is winged, but not necessarily depicted as a bird. Instead, in their culture, it is depicted as a winged serpent, a dragon. You will see the red dragon prominently on display in the courtyard of the Lord Mayor's residence in the inner city of London, which is also the home of the Inns of Court and the Worldwide Bar Associations. The depiction of the Red Dragon and White Dragon and the defeat of the White Dragon in British history following hard upon the heels of the Roman departure from Britain, remember that the Romans violently suppressed Mystery Babylon, heralds Mystery Babylon returning to public power in the British Isles and records the political battle between two factions of Mystery Babylon, Red and White, fighting over the spoils left behind. This indicates along with many other pieces of evidence that Mystery Babylon was already well, if secretively, in place in Western Britain, Wales, Cornwall, Ireland and Scotland, as Druidism, and was being practiced there well prior to the Roman invasion. Thus, what we are seeing in modern times, is merely the reassertion of a very ancient evil, which now infests the halls of Westminster and many other governments and corporations worldwide. It has been kept alive and fostered by skillful practitioners of diabolism, the chicanery we all recognize as legalese which subverts the common meanings of words, and diabolical logic patterns which serve to deceive the victims via various means of fraud including similar names deceits, trick questions, terms of art, unilateral contracts, unconscionable contracts, constructive fraud, impersonation, baratry, unlawful conversion, enfranchisement, enclosure, and political identity theft. What you now see going on in Washington, D.C., is not about Donald Trump. It's about Mystery Babylon and hopefully, the final defeat of this pernicious evil. www.annavonwrites.com slash 1609mysterycompany.pdf